Hi everyone, me again from sunny Moonshiner 28, <coughs> headed toward Deals Gap, crossing over the uh, river <coughs> on the way. And you'll have river on the left and lake, whatever you want to call it, all the way. I like the escarpment here in front of us. Uh, one of my favorite places here. Hard to see when it's in shadow, but uh, really nice. I always wonder if anybody tries to climb that. I think it's private property, but I bet some rock climbers have been up that thing before. Anyway, uh, it is August 13th, the day before my lovely wife's birthday, and we're up here on our birthday trip to, to the mountains, <coughs> staying at Iron Horse as usual. And so far, so good. Um, we try to come up every year about this time. She likes to come up here, and I do too. Really, our birthdays and our anniversary, we always try to come up at least for a week or so. There's a little bit of a view of the, of the lake. This is downstream from the uh, from the Fontana Dam, which is the highest dam in the TVA system. And I mentioned that before, and I'm not going to talk all the way through this. I'm not going to film all of 28, because 28 is 60 miles long. And even this section here, going to uh, Dills Gap, is a pretty good long, makes for, makes for a pretty long video. So. I just thought I'd show you a little bit of it, mention what's happening. Uh, everything's going pretty good. Uh, can't complain. Our health is good. And, uh, we're, she's going to be a year older. I'm going to be a year older in a couple of months. <clears throat> and uh, so far we're enjoying the 70s. You know, uh, I wouldn't mind being the, at least into the 50s again, but uh, 70s is okay. A few more things have broken and or bent and leaking and you know rattling and things like that but then I'm, I'm talking about my motorcycle of course um, <clears throat> you may have noticed or you may not I'll tell you anyway uh, spoil the surprise um, this bike is a whole lot quieter than it was the last time I shot a video here and that's because I took off the two brothers exhaust and put the stock exhaust back on now performance wise and weight wise and everything else that's the wrong way to go however the nature of this motorcycle is it does not shift so it revs and the faster you go the higher it revs and the two brothers is just so, is just too loud to have that constant drone uh, in your ear the whole time and I, I get back from riding and my ears would ring and I that's never a good thing and I think it's kind of silly to put earplugs in just to ride my motorcycle so I went back to the stock exhaust and I like it. I think it may, maybe it makes for a better video, maybe not. I think you can still hear the bike. <clears throat> the whole reason I went to the two brothers in the first place, well, there were a couple reasons, but number one reason was because Rikers rattle. Uh, Can-Am Rikers have a rattle. It's because of the plastic covers on the air cleaners on both sides. And uh, really the one that I found the most interesting was the fender skirts on the front fenders. You. Uh, you can hit stuff with them, you know, accidentally get a rock thrown up on them, but in my case, the wheel chocks I use when we transport it rub against them and it, it loosened them up and it makes them rattle. Well, I fix that. And I'm always tracking down rattles, but the rattles were so bad that I put one of the louder exhaust so I could drown it out. You know the old thing about, you know, your car starts making a noise and you don't have to do anything about it until you can't turn up the radio loud enough to drown it out? That's pretty much the way it is with the Riker here. I put that exhaust on it and I didn't have to listen to any rattles. They were still rattling, but I couldn't hear But uh, I think I've got most of them tracked down. I, I like the quieter a whole lot better. I'm, I'm a much better neighbor at the campground now. When I started it, it always had a big blah, blah. But of course, then again, we have uh, Harley riders and all that there too. Here's some guys coming by us. Uh, on the double yellow. It's not a good thing, but there's nowhere, nowhere really along here to pull off for them. So, uh, and we ride our own ride. We don't go, uh, we won't speed up for someone, but we will let them by. I got one more guy behind me. I'll see if I can get him by up here for just a minute. Susan's looking for a place to turn off. We're gonna pull off right here so he can go on by. There he goes. And that's the reason he didn't go by us. He was on a cruiser. The other guys were on sport bikes, so anyway, back to this. <clears throat> the Riker, this is a 2020 model, Riker Rally. It's been really good so far, uh, knock on wood, uh, and uh, uh, haven't had any real issues with it. 
haven't had to replace a tire yet. Of course, we don't ride them very uh, an awful lot. I had to put a lot of tires on the Spider. It's a lot heavier, and uh, it seems to wear those, especially the front tires, out pretty quick. I have a spare front tire at home. I decided to buy two last time. I needed one. Then they don't. It's funny. They don't wear out. They wear out one at a time. The uh, the first tire I wore out. I got it almost down slick. The other tire wasn't even half worn out. So I said, heck with that, and I just replaced the one. And I didn't have any problem with it. It didn't make it handle any different or track odd or anything like that. I know a lot of people go to uh, car tires. And that is, uh, if you ever want to get into a, if you ever have all afternoon, you want to spend some time online, go to a Spider, uh, a Can-Am Spider forum and mention car tires or mention air pressure. You'll, you'll have a discussion all day long. I've never, I've never seen people more locked into their opinion or their viewpoint on something mechanical than, than air pressure and tires. But anyway, like I said, if you want to spend some time online, that's a good forum to go to. Well, I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to wind this little video up. Uh, like I said, I wanted to keep this one short. Uh, the next video I'm going to shoot is going to be going down the Dragon, hopefully, if we make it there. <laughs> And uh, <clears throat> so everybody have a great day and uh, from Moonshiner 28, take care. Bye-bye.